What's up you guys, my name is Jaden and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to create your own track your order page on your Shopify store. Now I've already made this video before, but I made it back in 2022. And to this day, it is the most viewed video on my YouTube channel. So I know for a fact it was one valuable and two, you guys loved it. So I'm gonna be showing you what I'm doing in 2023 as far as a track your order page, because it's so crucial that you have this on your Shopify store because you don't want your customers to feel like they're in limbo as to where their package is or you know, it hasn't been shipped out, so on and so forth. So by having this on your Shopify store, you're gonna save your customer service team so much time. Now, just like the last tutorial, this one is 100% free, and I think it looks a lot better on your Shopify store because it's more updated. So if you're excited for the video, be sure to go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping content. And if you're an entrepreneur that's looking for a like-minded community full of individuals who are also dropshipping, be sure to go to the description and sign up for my free Discord server. It's the ultimate dropshipping and e-commerce Discord server. There's a bunch of free resources in there. I'm always chiming in and giving a bunch of free game. And also you can feel free to network with other dropshippers that are in the community. So again, go to the description, check it out. And without further ado, let's hop right into the video. All right, you guys, so we're gonna be setting up this track your order page on my test store that I have right here. Um, as you can see, we are on our Shopify store, so be sure that you're signed in. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do um, to go ahead and set this up is go to the apps portion and you're gonna to wanna to click on app and sales channel settings. And then once you get here, you're gonna to wanna to click on the Shopify app store and this is going to bring you to their complete catalog of all of their apps. And you're gonna to wanna to come to the top and you're gonna to wanna to search up track one, two, three. And once that loads up, you're gonna to wanna to click on this app right here. This is the correct one. They do have a free plan. I believe that you have to pay more depending on how many shipments you send out per month. I'm not too sure, but I do know that you're gonna to have to pay more if you want something completely branded just like this. Um, but their normal track your order page looks really good. So I highly recommend it. So all you're gonna have to do is just click on install and it'll put it right on your Shopify store. So now that you have the app tied to your store, you should see this screen right here. Um, if we go to the page editor side right here, this is where you're gonna be able to edit, um, you know, basic things about your, um, you know, your track your order page. You can go through this and customize it however you like. Um, personally, I just have it on the default section. Um, so go back to this portion right here, which is the track one, two, three um, homepage. And as you can see, it says success. Your tracking page is generally uh, generated successfully. And then here's the URL. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click on this copy link. And that's gonna copy this link, which is what you need for it to go onto your Shopify store. So now that you have that, you're gonna wanna click on online store and then click on navigation. So now depending on where you want your track your order page is dependent on what you're gonna click here. So um, I have multiple different menus already set up. So I have a customer care section on the bottom footer of my website. So I have it on, I have my track your order page there as well. Um, but majority of you guys are just gonna have a main menu section. So just go ahead and click on main menu. And this uh, section is just what's gonna be on the very top of your website. So your homepage, your shop page, if you have that, so on and so forth, you contact us, whatever, right? Um, so as you can see, I have all of mine here and I already have this set up, but I'm gonna go ahead and act like I don't have this set up here, so ignore this. Um, you're gonna wanna click on add menu item. All you're gonna do is just paste that link that you just got from track one, two, three into this section right here. And then you're gonna come up to the, oh, sorry. So you're gonna have to paste it and then you have to actually click it. So make sure you do that. And then it's gonna copy it as well to the name. And what you're gonna wanna do is rename this, uh, track your order. And then you're just gonna wanna click add right here on the bottom right. And then once you have that, you're just gonna click save. Did you know that more than four in five customers expect to immediately talk to a customer service rep when they're reaching out to your company? Now this video is sponsored by LiveSwitch. LiveSwitch is a Shopify app that ties right to your store that adds a bell to your website that allows you to chat with a real person in real time. This could technically be the future of customer service. So how it works is your customer will go to your website and if they have a question, they'll click the bell. Then your customers will be prompted to enter some personal information. And once they do that, they could click on start now and that'll connect them to a live agent. And once that happens, your customer service team will be notified and then the agent can go ahead and connect with the customer. What's crazy is that this works right on the front page of your website, there's no coding involved, and it also works within any web browser. So if you wanna go ahead and test out Live Switch for yourself and see exactly what I'm talking about, it's 100% free. So be sure to hit the first link in the description, check it out, and let me know what you think. 
So now that you have that all set up, now your track your order page is ready to go. That's it, that's all you have to do and that's why I love this app so much. So what you're gonna wanna do to go ahead and see it is go over to online store and click on the little I button so that way your website pulls up. Um, this is the site that we have set up here. As you can see, we have a homepage, shop page, contact, FAQ, and the brand new track your order page that we just created. So go ahead and click on that yourself. So once you've clicked that, you're now gonna see this track your order page, which looks fantastic in my opinion. Obviously, um, you know, if you end up paying for the app, you can customize it, you know, a lot more. But when you're just getting uh, when you're just getting started, this is perfect. So as you can see, your customers can track their orders two different ways. They can do it with their order number and with their email or phone number, and they could track here, or they can just simply uh, you know, paste their tracking number here. And this, from what I know, um, allows you to track pretty much any carrier. But this is gonna save your customer service team or yourself if you're still doing your customer service emails so much time because uh, you know customers are gonna reach out and they're gonna wonder where their order is. And by just having this on your website, you're just gonna reduce the amount of emails that you receive. So that's gonna do it. I know that this was a short tutorial, but I hope it helps somebody out there. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you learned something today and this helped you, be sure to go ahead and drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more dropshipping content. And if you're somebody out there that's looking to learn how to dropship and you wanna be a part of a community full of other entrepreneurs who are also on their dropshipping journey, be sure to go to the description and sign up for my free Discord server. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time.